Hey Jamarin developers, this is Jamarin guys. So debugging session in this session, we'll obtain a Google map API key. So in order to obtain that, retrieve the SH1 fingerprint of the key store that is used to sign the application and then create a project in the Google API console and obtain the API key. So in order to retrieve the SH1 fingerprint of the key store that is used to sign the application, we have to first of all go to our PC. Then now let's go to C drive. Here I'll select user. My PC name is Xamarin. That's why I have to go inside my Xamarin folder. Here that folder may be hidden. That's why I'll unhide it by going to option then views and then select show hidden files. Then I have to go inside my app data local and here I have to select Xamarin. Then I have to go to my mono for Android folder. This is my main file that contains my key store that's why I have to copy it now let's go back then you have to open your debug.key store from your keytool.exe inside our java folder so in order to get that I'll go back inside my C drive I'll go again back back inside my program files here I'll find my java folder inside my jdk folder here i'll find my bin then i'll paste that key store after that then hit shift plus right click then open command windows over here you have to first of all remember that debug.key store contains our sh1 fingerprint that's why we are opening that debug.key store from our keytool.exe i'll copy that code and then paste inside my command prompt i'll give that code uh, in the description below you can copy that and i'm very much sorry that i can't show my sh1 key because of google security issues i have to first of all go to our edit section then i have to mark it select that code then press ctrl plus c after you copied your SH1 fingerprint, we have to go to credential of Google API Developer Console. Then we have to create a new credential for API keys. This is my API key. I have to restrict that. That's why I'll select that. You can give any name for that key. For our Android application, we will restrict our key and add a new package name. And for SH1 fingerprint, I'll paste that that I've already generated. And package name should be same as your application name by going to this is my android project i have to go to properties and same as package name i have to copy it then i have to paste it now I'll scroll it little bit down and then i have to save it now you have to copy your api key inside your android main page that's all for this tutorial now thanks guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials